Hi guys and welcome to GSTOOP TV where we thrill you with amazing video all day long. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell after you subscribe to this channel. Finally, some good news in Nollywood as Nigerian actor, comedian, Lizzie J. Wu's real name is Adeyela Adebola, finally introduces her fiancé to the world. Now, Nollywood has been hearing and having a lot of bad news in recent times, a lot of the demise of so many amazing people in the industry. But then it seems like it is now the time for Nollywood to enjoy and for the industry to have a lot of laughter in their lives because Nigerian comedian, popularly referred to as Omoi Badon Lizzie J, whose real name is Adeyela Adebola, has taken to social media to officially introduce the love of her life to us. I mean, first step out of forever has just been concluded and we are only waiting for when we get the wedding invitations to say yes, she's finally getting married and I hope to God that we wouldn't have a lot of, we wouldn't have breaking news to say that the engagement has crumbled like that of alex ekubo and fancy hopefully that is not going to happen well if you're wondering what i'm talking about lizzie j took to social media to say first of all introduction make the love of my life i am akim adeyemi his name is akim Ade Ade. Yemi, so she's about to move from miss from miss adela to mrs adeyemi Akim Adeyemi is popularly referred to as Sugar Boy. He's also a Yoruba actor and movie producer. He's been in the industry for a couple of years now, a little bit before Lizzie J started acting because Lizzie J started a career in Nollywood, Yoruba genre of Nollywood, especially as a comedian. She rose to limelight in 2017 when she uploaded the comedy skits on Facebook on how girls women from different states sleep and then the comedy skits blew up and the ocean states born and bred comedian rose to limelight and she's been excelling and doing very well soon she's also popular for her skits the omoy badon center where she is the ceo and the lead teacher and <laughs> she does a lot of amazing skits on the internet so yes she has finally introduced the love of her life to us. She is also featured in this celebrity build reality series that is currently going on where they are making building houses and then the winner is going to win a lot of money alongside Mercy Aigbe, Nkechi Blessing Sunday, I am Nino Lobo, that is Nino Lobo, I've been Bola, Bola Lee Nino Lobo, and a whole lot of other comedians and actors, including Josh Tufani is in that reality tv series not only that this lady who is going to be 26 this year she was born on the 18th of september 1995 has produced her own movie and also she has a song that she has released so yeah she's not just an actor she's an overall entertainer she's an actor she's a movie producer she's a musician she is a reality tv star among a whole lot of other things and also she's in the sciences because she's actually studied microbiology in school Right, so if you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to do that. And also share with your family and friends. Tell them the good news so that we can all rejoice on behalf of these people. Our comment section has been plagued with a lot of congratulations. You look so beautiful. Congratulations. Hey, hey you are learning Kong Osimo by your Omo Badokosin Center. Some people are asking if this is a movie. Some people are asking if it is a skit. But a lot of people are just saying, Yao Kuani, yeah, yeah, win the building. Congratulations. Congratulations. And a lot of congratulations. So, yeah. Soon enough, we are going to hear more congratulations because when they pick the wedding date, don't worry, our color is already sky blue and pepper orange. We are coming for that. Now, let's talk more about Lizzie J, our growing up, our early life, and how our journey in the industry has moved since 2017. She was born on the 18th of September 1995, like I said, in Ilefe, Ocean State, Nigeria. Her father is a politician and her mom is a federal worker. She had both a primary and secondary education in Ocean State. Then she attended the School of Science, Ilefe, for her post-elementary education. She's fair-skinned. She backed a national diploma certificate from Ede Polytechnic before proceeding to earn a degree in microbiology from the Polytechnic Ibadan in Oyo State. When she was asked in an interview about her childhood experiences, she said, I didn't grow up in an expansive neighborhood. 
though it wasn't a ghetto. There were a lot of children in the compound where I grew up and we used to play a lot. My nickname as a child was Sibio Nike, that is plastic spawn. I will tell you the story behind it. See, whenever it was time to go to school, I always found one reason or the other why I would not go because I hated school as a kid. I used to cry. No wonder a coaching center is almost about a coaching center. Because she said she used to cry whenever they wanted to take her to school. And she would tell her mom she wanted plastic spawn. And whenever her mom gives her that, she would tell her that she wanted an iron spawn. Even when she gave the iron spawn, she would reject it and still ask for a plastic spawn. Also, speaking on another nickname she had as a child, which is Bola on the mango tree. Her name is Adebola, if you're wondering. I remember that my mom bought me a dress with the inscription BOM, B-O-M, and the elderly ones around used to joke that the B-O-M was an abbreviation for Bola on the mango tree. I had a lot of fun as a child and sometimes I wish I could go back to being a kid. You and me both, Lizzie J, you and me both. As a child though, she had the dream to be a medical doctor, having a penchant for making people happy. She wanted to save lives by finding cures to diseases. But her fate had better things in store for her. Like you can obviously say, I mean, her doctors are trying to get to Saudi Arabia. And this woman is here cashing out, making millions of naira as an Instagram comedy skit maker and an actor. According to her, comedy is still in line with her goals because she still makes people happy with her jokes. Now, when she started comedy, according to her, she was trying to get into the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ilei Fair, to study microbiology. And because she was bored, according to her, she said it was boredom that precedes moments of great creativity. It all started when I was denied admission to study microbiology at OAU. My name was removed from the admission list and I didn't know what happened till date. I was at home alone and different thoughts started coming to me. I decided to put them into skits and that was how I started uploading comedy skits online. In a way, it was failure and setback that pushed me into becoming an online comedian. However, I have always been a carefree and playful person. Before I started uploading skits on Instagram, I had a lot of fans on Facebook who always liked to see my updates because they were usually hilarious. That's why people were not really surprised when I started doing video skits because they knew that I have always been funny. She said the, the one that happened in May 2017 that propelled her to limelight was because she was at home and she had an idea to post an update on facebook but she felt it would be better to do it in video format so that people would really understand the message she wanted to pass her elder brother helped her to shoot the video she uploaded it and it blew just from that place not only that she said she prefers stand-up comedy her parents actually support her career journey so if you're wondering and you want to go into comedy i want your parents to support you take a cue from lizzie j's journey and probably they would support you and she's not based in a bad one she said somehow she's based sometimes she is not but now you can tell that she's majorly in lagos state nigeria and she said the most embarrassing moment in her career was when she had an incident that happened the first day the very first day she was supposed to compare a wedding reception but she didn't really talk about it because of the kind of people that were involved in the marriage but then inspiration for her skits comes from when she's alone she says she gets ideas especially when she's alone but then she gets ideas from almost everything around her but she needs to be alone ultimately to build on those ideas sometimes she discuss with friends and families pick ideas from them and then develop them into skits she also said that she's trying to not portray ibadan as a local place but that she feels very comfortable speaking in the ibadan accent even though she's an ocean state born and bred woman all right guys that's it for this video i believe i have done justice and i have shown you that yes happily ever after do exist as lizzie j is about to get married i'll see you in the next video guys take care of yourself and bye